Today, I'll be speaking about large-scale industrial gold mining. We will examine the ways in which cyanide is used in gold extraction and the environmental health impacts of this process. The purpose of this presentation is to examine the process of large-scale industrial gold mining. We will begin by comparing the largest gold producers worldwide to the largest consumers of sodium cyanide before learning about the ways in which sodium cyanide is used for gold extraction. Finally, we will use historic examples to learn about the environmental and health risks associated with gold mining using cyanide and the ways in which the process is being regulated. To the left, you see a picture of ore and you can see the, the gold specks in, inside of the ore. And so that is actually what um, they're looking to extract using sodium cyanide. This table of contents presents a quick overview of what I'll be covering in this lesson today. We will first begin by looking at a temporal graph which examines the five-year production fluctuations amongst the top 10 global gold producers. The next slide will be cyanide consumption by country. We'll then move on to how cyanide is used in gold mining and then look at the environmental and health impacts of cyanide exposure before finishing up by looking at the future of cyanide and mining. Here we see a temporal graph examining the five-year production fluctuations amongst the top 10 global gold producers. As you can see, China is consistently the largest producer in the world. In 2018, Chinese gold production accounted for 12% of total global production. China is not only the leading gold producer, but also the leading global gold consumer. After China, Australia is the second largest producer, they're in orange, Russia is the third in brown, and the United States the fourth, they're in a little bit of a darker shade of orange than Australia. Keeping in mind the top gold producers from the previous slide, Take a moment to examine this graph, which looks at the world's consumption of sodium cyanide in 2015. Do you notice anything? That's right. Many of our top producers are prominently represented here as well. China, represented in teal in this pie chart, is the world's leading gold producer and also accounts for about 40% of global sodium cyanide consumption. So, what is sodium cyanide? I've posted a hint in the top right hand corner of the screen. Take a moment to think about what you know about cyanide based on history. But what does its consumption have to do with gold production? Cyanide extraction is typically used in large scale mining operations as leaching finely ground ore with cyanide can recover up to 97% of the trapped gold. Cyanide's use in mining, however, is extremely controversial, as the compound is very toxic. There are two techniques which use cyanide to extract gold from ore. The first technique is called vat leaching. You can see two pictures of vat leaching on the top right-hand corner. The photo on the left shows a larger, well-funded operation utilizing a closed vat. The photo on the right is an example of, an, of open vat leaching. So after blasting the rock apart in a mine, the ore is transferred to a mill where the rock is crushed, separated, and then crushed again until it is the size of beach sand. The ore is then transferred into large vats where it is mixed with water and sodium cyanide solution for 24 hours. The cyanide bonds to the gold ions, making them soluble in water and able to be separated from the ore. Air is sometimes blasted into the vats as oxygen accelerates the leaching process. Once the gold has been extracted from the ore, the liquid is separated from the waste materials. The gold will then be chemically extracted from this liquid. The second technique is called cyanide heap leaching. This technique is often used for low quality ore or to reprocess waste materials from other extraction methods, such as the tailings from vat leaching. You can see a diagram of this process on the lower right hand side of the slide. First, ore is crushed and heaped on top of each other into very large mounds. Sprinklers are then installed onto the top of the heap, which dispense sodium cyanide solution directly into the ore. 
the solution seeps deep into the mound of ore, eventually leaking into or leaching into the mound and collecting into a pool which has been dug below. The collected solution is then processed to extract the gold. Due to cyanide success in leaching gold from low-grade ore, this technique has created a boom in open pit mining. The practice is often criticized for the amount of waste created compared to the amount of gold produced. For example, Nevada's Carlin Trend Mine mined 129.8 million tons of ore in 1989 and recovered just 3.7 million ounces of gold. Cyanide and cyanide compounds, such as sodium cyanide, are fast-acting acute poisons, as well as chronic poisons. People who live in close proximity to heap leaching pads often report respiratory and skin diseases, headaches, dizziness, as well as eye irritation. Other problems with cyanide include a loss of potable water, extinction of some fish species in contaminated rivers, water birds and carnivorous animals dying after eating a contaminated fish, surface and groundwater resources of communities who live along the rivers being contaminated with cyanide, as well as socioeconomic problems for communities who live along the rivers due to temporary loss of livelihood. One very famous and devastating example of such an environmental disaster from gold mining using cyanide was on January 30th, 2010, when the tailing dam at a gold processing plant in the northern Romanian town of Baimare broke and 100,000 cubic meters of toxic cyanide wastewater escaped into the river Tsiza and eventually going into Hungary and Yugoslavia. There was a cloud of cyanide below the surface of the water, which was almost 25 miles long. By February 15th, just 16 days after the incident, the first traces of cyanide were detected in the River Danube, and the cyanide cloud would eventually travel out into the Black Sea. Overall, more than 1,400 tons of fish died, and the accident destroyed the livelihoods of thousands of fishermen, as well as extincted entire ecosystems within the rivers. Gold mining with cyanide has been presented as the safer, healthier option to gold mining with mercury, which we learned about in Lesson 12 on land contamination. With a history of disasters all over the world, however, that claim is being refuted in many places. After disasters involving gold cyanidation worldwide, such as the Baimari incident, the use of cyanide in gold mining has begun to be more tightly regulated. The International Cyanide Management Code was developed by a multi-stakeholder steering committee under the guidance of the United Nations Environmental Program and the International Council on Metals and the Environment. The Cyanide Code, however, is a voluntary program for gold mining companies, although many believe it should be required for all cyanide using operations. The code focuses on the safe management of cyanide and the mill tailings and solutions produced from this process. Companies who adopt the cyanide code must, must have their mining operations audited by an independent body to certify that they are in compliance with the code, which then informs stakeholders of the status of cyanide management practices at all operations. The objective is to improve management of cyanide used in gold mining, as well as assist in the protection of human health and the reduction of environmental impacts. Recently, there have been a number of countries who have initiated outright bans of cyanide use in mining, including several U.S. states, such as Montana, Wisconsin, Colorado, and South Dakota. Large-scale gold mining is an important part of the global economy. However, the practice of gold cyanidation presents a large risk to entire ecosystems living in proximity to these mines and processing plants. Cyanide is an incredibly toxic and dangerous chemical, and if not handled properly, can have devastating results. The goal of this presentation is to increase public awareness of this dangerous practice and help to bring about greater accountability and regulation to ensure that the misuse and abuse of cyanide in gold mining is brought to a halt. Slide are the references for this presentation. I found these references to be very helpful and hope that you will find them useful in your future exploration of this topic. Thank you for listening.